Let me show you a little bit here. Look at this little note at the bottom. It says, this notebook is an engineering sample, not for selling. The software and application installed are for test and evaluation only. So that is how early we are to this party, ladies and gentlemen. Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Evangelista. Welcome to the channel. And today we've got a very short, or what I am targeting to be a very short video about this laptop all right a little story time recently i was given the very very nice opportunity by msi to travel to australia to bathurst specifically to attend the first race of the season of the 12-hour endurance race and yeah that was very exciting for me because you know i am a very big racing fan i play a lot of racing games and previously i have only visited mount panorama circuit in its digital form but during my trip to Australia, to Bathurst, I was able to visit Mount Panorama Circuit for myself. And of course, during the around five days that I was in Australia, I needed a laptop to work on. And this was the laptop that they sent to me. But before we continue with the video, let's keep the lights on here in the studio. This video is brought to you by Sneak Attack Design Lab. They're a clothing company that specializes in technical fashion, more commonly known as techwear and you can see me in their clothes in most of my videos. I've been supporting their brand ever since I met them back in 2019, and now they're returning the favor. Head on over to this link, you can find it in the description as well, to get 10% off your order from their site. Check their clothes out, you're bound to see something badass over there that'll look great on you. Thank you very much to Sneak Attack for this exclusive promo for my viewers. Now, back to the video. This is the MSI Prestige 14 AI. Yeah, it's a powerful little laptop. Of course, I have set it up. I have used it. But now I want to do a little like feature video for you guys, just so you know what to expect with this laptop. Uh, currently, this is not yet being sold in the Philippines, but you know, very soon it will be. Let me show you a little bit here. Look at this little note at the bottom. It says, this notebook is an engineering sample, not for selling. The software and application installed are for test and evaluation only. So that is how early we are to this party, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, the MSI Prestige 14 AI, uh, this is one of their creator laptops. And yeah, it was just an absolute treat to use during my Australia trip. I transferred all of my footage and photos on here. I edited them on here. And yeah, it was just a straight up powerhouse in such a little and slim form that I really had no difficulties lugging this around uh, during my stay in Australia. So for today, I'm going to do a little feature video here, show you the ins and outs and show you like a surface level like preview of this laptop. Of course, I am not reviewing this for now because this is an engineering sample, but later on when we do have a retail version of this, I am going to be requesting this from MSI for a full review. So for now, let's check out what we have. So first off, this is not a new design for me. Uh, a lot of laptops from both MSI and non-MSI brands followed this design of laptop before where we have like a main like area and it has a like a little butt here at the back. You know, it's pretty okay. Very classy. I like this logo very much. MSI, please keep using this logo. I like this logo better than the Shield one, but you know, I understand that the Shield one is for the gaming one. You can also carry this over for the gaming one and it still looks pretty amazing. All right, here at the side, we have vents. We have an HDMI port. I think this is a 2.1. Uh, we have an ethernet port, which is amazing to see. Ethernet ports or LAN ports on uh, creator laptops are sorely needed, especially if you're going to be working in a big rendering environment when you need to transfer like really huge stuff between different creatives. You have to have a wired connection for that to take full advantage of the transfer bandwidth. We have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, uh, super speed, and we have the audio jack. Here at the front, we don't have anything. And here at the right side, we have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C, which is really good. And we have a Thunderbolt port with uh, the power delivery 3 point something, 3.2, I think, because it supports up to 140 watts of charging. There is no like regular like brick for this. 
you only have the 140 watt charger on this. So uh, TDP maxes out at 140 watts on this laptop. Then we have a Kensington lock here. Uh, at the back, we don't have any ports. Don't have any ports at the back. Yeah, just vents, but that's fine. Uh, at the underside, we can see the two big fans here and here, and this is just like slanted vents. These look pretty good. Uh, I will probably try to open this up, but I think MSI will be cross with me if I opened up an engineering sample. <laughs> but you know, I'm going to take a photo of it and I'm going to post it in this video uh, just so we can like, take a peek inside. It's a creator laptop. It's not really meant for gaming. Uh, it's meant for like uh, creative professionals and for their on the go needs. So yeah, opening up the laptop. Come on, show the screen. The screen on this is pretty amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that register on the screen. It is a pretty amazing screen. Let's continue the tour of the body here at the uh, top plate. So it has a backlit keyboard. Uh, as we can see, only single light, uh, single like bluish white LED backlight, but that's fine. Uh, big trackpad and it's a glass trackpad now. So it's pretty nice. Uh, but no numpad. I think the numpad is reserved for the bigger 16 inch model, but I am not entirely sure. This is just the 14 inch, much more portable model with a bit more lower specs and smaller battery, you know, for much more uh, portable creatives. Uh, it's nice to see that MSI is using a font that's different from the PS3 font, the Spider-Man font that they keep using on their gaming notebooks, but you know, this is pretty nice. You can transfer this over to your gaming models, MSI. I think this is Futura. Let's check out the specs. Specs check. Also, this is the power brick. It's just a 140 watt USB-C power brick. It's nothing special. It's made by Delta, not Chicony. Usually MSI uses either Delta or Chicony. So these are the specs for the MSI Prestige 14 AI Studio. Uh, to be specific, this is the C1 VFG model and it is running the new Intel Core Ultra 7 165H, which has 22 CPUs and it's running at 3.8 gigahertz. It has 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM. It is running Intel Arc graphics. Uh, I'm not sure which model is this, but it is running Intel Arc graphics for its built-in GPU. And for its discrete GPU, it has the NVIDIA RTX 4060 laptop 8 gig. That is not bad. We have reviewed the RTX 4060 before in a different MSI laptop, the MSI Cyborg 15. And yeah, it really punches above its weight. If you want the game, you can definitely game on this, but you know, don't. <laughs> the screen and the rest of the specs is not really built for gaming. So for the display, this is running an unusual resolution of 2880 by 1800. So it's a bit bigger than 2560 by 1600, but it is running at the same aspect ratio of 16 by 10. But you know, why would you do that? Anyways, it is a 60 hertz screen. All right, one thing to note about this model or this unit specifically, since this is an engineering model and sometimes they come with little quirks that are not to be expected in the retail unit, but it looks like the camera is kind of like disconnected in this unit. I can't access it, but you know, it is apparently running a 1080p camera. Uh, it does have uh, facial recognition, so it has an IR depth sensor, so it can do facial recognition through Windows Hello, but the camera doesn't work. Next up we have to try is the speaker test. I like Scarlet Fire for like three reasons. First off, it's a really good song with great dynamics and it's free, so it's copyright, it's copyright free. Uh, second is my daughter's name is Scarlet, but you know, it has two T's like Scarlet Johansson. And lastly, I love dank pods. <laughs> and yeah, a lot of you guys have pointed that out, but you know, I'm a very big fan of Dank Pods and every time he releases a video, I immediately watch it. I was excited to watch his like latest dip into the nugget bin, into the bag of nuggets. 
this 2024 and it did not disappoint that video did not disappoint anyway here's scarlet fire by the msi prestige 14 ai at 75 percent volume not gonna lie i was really vibing out to that song and these are probably the best sounding speakers on an msi laptop that i have tried so far it sounds amazing uh i have noted this when i was in australia the big thing about listening to the speakers on these are the stereo effect it feels like the speakers are way wider or way far apart than they actually are it's a very small laptop and the speakers are there I say these are like 9 out of 10 laptop speakers. They're really good. <laughs> so yeah, since this is not a gaming laptop, I am not going to be trying this out for gaming. But if you have one of these laptops and you want to try it out for gaming, sure, go ahead. You have an RTX 4060 in there. Although, keep in mind that it's not going to be like a full fat RTX 4060 because you are just running off of a 140 watt power brick and you are going to run into some power problems or some power limits but yeah uh, one thing that I would have liked to demonstrate here but I couldn't are the MSI uh, the MSI AI features and one of them is local image generation like I keep saying there's an engineering unit and I was really looking forward to it in the software, but apparently uh, MSI didn't install their MSI AI artist kind of suite on this uh, unit. Uh, there was, this was just like a very early loner just so I can use a laptop while I was in Australia. And yeah, it did not have the AI generation kind of things. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to demonstrate that in a later video. So yeah, that ends our very short video for the day. I've shown you what I can about the MSI Prestige 14 AI, and I will probably do another video like this in the future when I actually have the retail unit with me. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions about this laptop, just leave them down in a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. But do take note that I only have an engineering sample with me. Some things have to be changed, some things have to be updated, but yeah. As far as I have experienced, this is one of like the better uh, creator laptops that I've tried. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.